Hi, and welcome to Understanding the Cloud. My name is Jason Conine, Solutions Architect at Tech Data. In this session, we're going to be talking about the core cloud service models, which are essentially a set of IT-related services offered by a cloud provider to provide some sort of IT resource to a consumer. So let's take a closer look at these models. The first core cloud service model is an infrastructure as a service, or IaaS. In this model, the cloud customer outsources the infrastructure responsibility to an external cloud provider. So what you see outlined in red is what's going to be managed by you, right? The rest of the items outlined in green is what you have decided to outsource to the cloud service provider to maintain. So in other words, the cloud provider would not only own the equipment, which is providing the infrastructure resources, but they also are responsible for the management, the operations, and maintenance of these resources. So again, everything you see here in green is what you're outsourcing which are all these typical infrastructure components like the servers, storage, virtualization, networking components. And we have a dotted line here around the operating system, since you may or may not need to bring your own operating system. This will depend uh, and vary based on the licensing agreements and the chosen operating system type that you've decided to deploy, as well as how you plan to deploy this operating system. Like in a shared environment or, or a multi-tenant environment or if you decided to deploy in a dedicated environment where you're actually renting a entire physical server or data center. So if we think about our cash flow when we implement an infrastructure as a service we're no longer incurring capital expenses from buying new hardware or additional operating expenses related to hardware maintenance or upgrading server hardware because this cloud service is allowing us to easily create a new infrastructure quickly and efficiently without having to purchase any new physical hardware. This helps us save on resources, time, and money. A common infrastructure as a service scenario would be an IT department looking for a development environment to test a new application. Within an IAAS, their development environment can be created in minutes to quickly test an application and then removed when testing is complete. Another common scenario you will see would be an organization looking to meet hardware capacity spikes, which can be addressed by extending these workloads into a cloud infrastructure without having to add any physical resources to their current data center. Next is the Platform as a Service, or PaaS, which enables customers, who are mainly developers, build their applications without assuming the capital and resource costs that they would be obligated to pay if they had to purchase and maintain on their own infrastructure, which are all these items outlined in green. Rather, these customers just purchase the platform to create their applications or services that are available exclusively over the internet. In addition to the platform infrastructure, these customers usually also gain access to all the necessary tools and programming languages and APIs needed to create their application in the cloud. Developers using PAAS don't need to worry about configuring or maintaining an infrastructure for development, so they're truly able to focus on what matters to them, just the application development, which enables them to bring their new applications or changes to market much faster than in a traditional environment, because in a traditional environment, they would also have to worry about all that underlying infrastructure as well. Our last core cloud service model is Software as a Service, or SaaS. This service provides customers with a software application on demand over the internet, usually using a web browser. Like the other cloud service models, SaaS is hosted at the cloud provider, so the customer does not need to purchase the hardware required to deploy and operate this application. 
Plus, with software as a service, customers will not have to support the installation or the infrastructure that supports the application, really making this cloud model a no-brainer. Some common examples would be accounting, CRM, office, and communication applications. Again, it's very important to understand the differences between the infrastructure, platform, and software as a service model as these are the core models that all the others that you're going to see out there are based on. So let's review what we've learned. An infrastructure as a service, or IaaS, cloud model is where the customer outsources the responsibility and maintenance for all those typical infrastructure components to an external cloud provider. Next, the platform as a service, or PaaS, cloud model provides the platform to develop, run, and manage web applications without the complexity of building and maintaining the underlying infrastructure. Last is the Software as a Service, or SAAS cloud model, which provides the ability to use software applications on demand delivered by the cloud provider over the internet. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you found this information useful. If you'd like to learn more, check out our other sessions on cloud computing. Or as always, reach out to your team at TechData. Again, my name is Jason Conine. Thanks for watching.